My name is uh, Brad McCombs. This project is called Hydrological Legends. This interested me, Salmon in the City, because Seattle is one of the first cities who's facing the Endangered Species Act. I wanted to do something that dealt with salmon and how it's um, looking at the historical significance of the changes that have happened to this area and how that has affected the salmon species. I started building the robots first, actually, and I knew that I was going to make some sort of map image. I called them mural maps. When I was coming up with this project, I remember seeing this robot that could follow lines. And, and then when I was thinking of the maps and looking at these migration patterns of the salmon, I thought it was a perfect fit to have these robots that can follow lines and build a fish on top of the robots. Okay, so this is the sensor. There are two sensors actually, and one LED. It, the LED reflects off of the uh, light areas, and then it detects when it picks up a light area. But when it's on the black line, it doesn't pick up anything, either the sensor, so it keeps going straight. So I added a few kits together. So the, the purpose of this was just to sh show the ironic sort of technology that's being applied to salmon. Testing them, we have to count their numbers, we have to have little sensors on them. These salmon are a little more subtle. I wanted them, these to be more realistic looking. Uh, they're made out of tissue paper with layers of polyurethane, and I painted over them and put a silver sheen on them to sort of make them look as natural as possible. This map is 150 years ago before Western culture started moving in, and uh, this shows the Seattle area before um, people started really populating. The main difference here is that the Lake Washington watershed is nine feet higher and they still have the Black River, which is the natural sort of watershed for Lake Washington. And now there's the shipping canal, which they have to go through a whole series of dams or, or locks and through a fish ladder actually reach their natal sort of streams. I wanted to take a step back and look at more of the big picture. So I think this project sort of does that and through time shows what's happened to the salmon and how their migration patterns have changed and, uh, and the watershed has changed. <laughs>